Yes, today the MK leadership committee called a press conference at Sheraton Hotel to make clear about what happened during the Chavazinga uh, royal wedding. During this press conference, they came out to deny the allegations which were made by uh, the people's president, Robert Chagrin Center, Bobby Wayne, on why he did, did not attend the royal wedding of Busoga. We all know that Bob Wayne came up and said that he was denied uh, to attend this royal wedding by the NRM junta and to a, a, a more large extent by the first son, General Moses Kainugaba. So in this episode, I've come to talk about why the MK project is denying this, what it means for our country, and most importantly, the study materials we can learn from the politics of our nation. But before I do this, I want to let you know that if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you are watching this video from a different platform, please head on to YouTube, type in Sula Mawagali. There is a lot of content of this nature. If geopolitics and economics is what you want, this will be definitely the right channel for you to subscribe to. I dedicate this video to Sech Toleko Yassin, a political prisoner who has been in incarceration for more than three years. So we all know that Bobby Wayne was among the very many people who contributed on this wedding. And in fact, he was even given an invitation by the Prime Minister or the Katu Kiro of Bosoga. Let me first give you the tape as Bobby Wayne was being invited before I talk about this. Here is the tape. <laughs> So that, that is Bobby Wayne for you when he was being invited for the wedding. But to my surprise, I did not see Bobby Wayne on this wedding, despite him being in the country. Okay? But when he held a press conference yesterday, he came out to say that he was denied by the NRM junta to appear in this wedding. Okay? I've already talked about this in my previous video. If you missed it, I'm going to leave a link here in the description. So today the MK project came out to deny these allegations. In fact, there was a written communication which was read by, by the MK, MK executive committee. And I am assuming that that communication is a direct response by General Moses Kainugaba. Because if a spokesperson of any entity speaks, it means that the entity is speaking. Let me give you what they said before I expound on this. Here is the tape. 
Yeno ozi na ugawa at last in the moment. Kuna Robert Chagulani sent a mus absence at the royal wedding simply because he was neither on the organizing committee nor was he the one issuing invitation card. He was also invited like other guests. The discretion to invite guests was by the host and not general mus in the ugawa. Kuna Robert Chagulani sent a mus to verify find other reasons to use as to why he did not attend the wedding of his Royal Highness the Chabazinga. It is so sad that, they, that he continues to use General Mosque in Elgawa as the reason for his own undoing and weakness and weakness. And we hereby dare challenge one of Robert Chaburan Sentam to name the person who told him so. One of Robert Chaburan Sentam should know that Ugandans have long moved away from the politics of blackmail, idle talk, and theater. So that is the MK Executive Committee speaking. And for me, I think they were just mitigating collateral damage. There is no amount of sanitization that can wipe away what was done during the royal wedding. The Chabazinga is for all of us. The Chabazinga is for all the Basogas. Remember, Bobby Wayne has a man support in Busoga. He got almost 70% of the support in Busoga after the 2021 general election. The organizing committee of that wedding made a grand mistake of not inviting Robert Chagrin Centum. Even if it wasn't Robert Chagrin Centum, but by not inviting the entire opposition, they anticipated that there was going to be a uh, 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 disharmony. Okay, in the audience, but it was a very great mistake. Okay, such institutions, cultural institutions, must rise above the occasions. The reason as to why uh, Buganda has remained as one of the biggest and strong kingdoms is one, it does not normally koto to the government demands. I know, of course, as politicians, both from the opposition and from the government, may want to use cultural institutions to advance okay, their interest. But it is upon the kingdom to come out and draw the lines and boundaries and do what is right. What ought to have, done, uh, have been done during that wedding is the opposition would have been invited. Even if you wouldn't want to uh, invite Robert Chagrin Sentam, you would have invited the Amuriat, Mugisha Muntu, Kizabesije, or some of the opposition leaders. So for me, I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised okay, to hear this. Because we all know the modus operandi of the NRM government. Okay. So that was mitigating the collateral damage. But truth be said, that is the way Genome, Genome 7 operates. He doesn't want to give any chance to his uh, 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 opposers. Okay. And I can uh, uh, qualify my statement more. Even during the... Uh, the Independence Day celebration. The NUP was bad from organizing uh, uh, prayers. We all know even w w when the NUP was opening its headquarters because Genome 7 was going to be in the, surround in the surrounding area, they barred them from op opening headquarters. We all know even the recent by elections. Whenever Genome 7 is going to come in a particular constituency, they ban the opposition from coming in the same constituency. So even if they come out to sanitize anything, we know how Genome 7 works. It was a well-designed uh, uh, procedure to block the opposition from attending this royal wedding. And I think the organizing committee made a mistake on this because the Chavazinga takes all the people despite their shades of color politically. Of course, that's my opinion. Do drop me your comments when talking about this. Thank you very much for listening in. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, I implore you to subscribe, like, and comment so that I can be motivated to do more of such videos. I'll see you on another one. Peace.